around. It was caused by contaminated seed. Here you see the chuffs having just discovered that there's a red belly black snake sitting on my lawn. <coughs> now, one of my hypotheses is that uh, they think I am their totemic human and they think that people eat snakes. So one of the reasons I think they tell me about snakes is that they think I might want to eat him or her. <coughs> but I'm not much into eating snakes. I think snakes are cool. Particularly red belly blacks. This one's sort of spread out trying to soak up maximum infrared from the sun which is being covered by clouds at the moment. But I've had a pretty good relationship with Red Belly Blacks ever since I bought this title deed to the block of land. And on an early bushwalk I run across probably this one's great great grandmother or something. But she was very, very big, you know, like three times the length of this. And I explained to the red belly black snake that she could eat all of the mice and antichinus she felt like around my place. And I would teach my kids to leave her and her kids alone as long as she left me and my kids alone. And I've never had a problem with red belly black snakes ever since. I have been chased once by a lady tiger snake that was messing around in my shed and I didn't know she was there and she chased me out of it but generally when there's a snake around the chuffs let me know about it it's okay you're all right and as you can see the red belly blacks would much rather get along with their day than have an argument with a person even if the person is barefoot. What I'm kind of concerned about is that I've recently put out some uh, warfarin type rodent baits and I don't want this snake getting a bellyache by eating anything that's slowed down, easy to catch and might be full of poison. Oops. It's all right, you're a good girl. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.